Good evening, everyone. It's wonderful to be here. Actually, I um, used to live in New York, and I'm in Atlanta, and it's great to be back in the home. <laughs> Welcome. So appreciate you being here. I'm Claudia McNamee. This is Tony Portanese. We are um, proud co-chairs of this gala this evening. And uh, we're delighted to salute the honorees and our student scholars. And again, thank you so much for being here. This is impactful for the students and the scholarship fund that we raise um, for one of the greatest institutions. Um, this community college is pretty much a 24-7 operation, diverse, and uh, does a lot of great things. So, so and um, yes, we just want to thank you all for being here this evening. And for those of you who have attended our gal in the past and have supported the BMCC Scholarship Foundation, we do thank you for your continued generosity, particularly our corporate sponsors, as well as the foundations and individual donors who support us not only this evening, but throughout the year with internships, time, resources, and of course, funding. And for those of you who are joining us for the first time, and are just becoming familiar with BMCC, I'm sure once you get exposed to our students, as you will shortly, you will see how your generosity really improves their lives. Um, and I'm sure those of you who are here for the first time, you will surely become extended members of the BMCC family. And now it's our honor to introduce Chair of the Board, Christine Larson, Chief Operating Officer for First Data. All right. All right, well, thank you, uh, Claudia and Tony, and I'm thrilled to welcome you to the BMCC Foundation Gala. Many of you know this is a very special night that we look forward to every year, and I'm so happy to see so many of our friends back. I'm going to start immediately by going off script and extend a special acknowledgement this year. Many of you noticed that our venue changed. Um, many of you may know that uh, we worked hard to find phenomenal honorees, and, but what you might not know is that behind all of this is our fabulous director, Doris Holtz. And so the board and I... We have a special gift for Doris. In this box is one of those things, you know, a Tiffany key, because Doris is the key to the success of our foundation. Oh, picture, picture, get your blue box up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Doris. But the scholarship dollars that we are here to raise tonight are an investment that speeds the time to graduation and eases the burden on some of the hardest working people in our city. These students go on to create careers and contribute to the growth and well-being of our city, our country, and our world. This is an investment that benefits all of us. And as I was saying to some of you over cocktails, you know, these students, they're not just taking care of themselves. Many of them are also working to take care of their families while they work to advance themselves. So at our gala last year, many generous donors helped us reach a new fundraising record, enabling us to reach an all-time high of $1.1 million. And just as we encourage our students, our faculty, and our staff to keep reaching higher, we raise the bar on our fundraising as well. So I'm happy to tell you that at the moment we stand at $9,996, is that right? $996,000, uh, very close to that magic mark. And we're confident that with all your help, uh, we can exceed last year. And most of all, you know, we thank you for your friendship, right? The Million Dollar Gala is an important milestone for us and it shows that this is a serious, established college with a serious mission. And what we can do for these 27,000 students is really incredible. So I extend you my heartfelt thanks from my phenomenal board uh, who make everything happen. So let's have a special thank you to the foundation board. <clears throat> Uh, 
But I'd also like to congratulate and thank our gala honorees, Don Callahan, Garrett Moran, and Edie Falco on this well-deserved recognition. They are proven experts, they are successful leaders, and they are great neighbors. Don Callahan, Head of Operations and Technology at City, is leading the digital transformation across City's businesses to enhance the client experience in more than 160 countries. About as many countries as we have students, by the way. A dedicated and community-minded leader, he chairs and helps lead the boards of Manhattanville College and the American Red Cross of Greater New York. Our second honoree is Garrett Moran, and prior to becoming president of Europe in 2013, he held executive positions at prestigious financial firms, including Donaldson, Lufkin, Generette, and Blackstone's private equity group. He is now dedicated to giving back by providing young people with educational opportunity. In addition to leading Europe, Garrett also serves as a board member of Middlebury College. As many of you may know, Europe provides rigorous, hands-on technical skills development internships and college credits to low-income young adults to enable them to move into professional careers. The story of how they find these kids and how they help them is tremendously moving. We are thrilled that this year BMCC became the first CUNY college to partner with Europe and the only college to have Europe co-located on its campus. The program is already benefiting our BMCC students. And continuing a tradition that Doris Holtz created for us, our special guest star celebrity honoree this year is the acclaimed actress Edie Falco. <laughs> Edie has broken an array of awards records in memorable roles, including Nurse Jackie and Carmela Soprano. I have to tell you, I live in Montclair, New Jersey. Most recently, she starred alongside Louis C.K., Steve Buscini, and Alan Alda in Louis C.K.'s new web series, Horace and Pete. And she soon will be starring alongside Robert De Niro in Taylor Hackford's The Comedian. Her credits go on and on, and she's a generous supporter of many philanthropic organizations. So we at BMCC are proud to be honoring Don, Garrett, and Edie this evening. I also want to recognize and thank Cindy Hsu, Emmy Award-winning anchor and reporter at CBS2 News for joining us as our MC again this year. Cindy has a very early morning call, and I don't want to tell you what time she has to get up, but we appreciate uh, her coming out tonight. But now, you know, as a chair of a foundation and a board, uh, you always have a special relationship with the president of your institution. And so it's my great honor to introduce our president, whose vision for the college, whose energy and love for students has brought BMCC to where it is today. President Perez is extraordinary. Many of you have had the chance to meet him, but he's the driving force behind important initiatives that have enhanced the quality of our education, strengthened our faculty, which is truly impressive, and increased academic and internship opportunities to our students. So please join me in welcoming our president, Dr. Antonio Perez. Thank you, Christine, for that uh, warm introduction. And thanking those who made this evening possible. I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the outstanding and deep commitment of the members of our BMCC board. Those who are here, please rise to be recognized. I'm deeply grateful to each and every one of them. It's amazing when we have our meetings. And I ask myself, these individuals have such busy schedules, and they have such responsible positions in our community, but they find the time to be with us and to plan and to ensure that the quality of our education and that the support we get for our students is there. I would also like to recognize the following individuals who are here with us tonight. A member of the Board of Trustees of CUNY, uh, Rita DiMartino, is she here? Please rise.
And we're also very fortunate to have some of my colleagues here who are supporting this event tonight. Uh, the president of Kingsborough Community College, Farley, Farley Herzig. Her Farley. The president of New York City Tech, Russ Hotzler. And the president of, Bronx, of uh, Hostels Community College, David Gomez.